I'm here with Matthew Sandell, director of Love Bugs, one of the short features in the uh, shorts program at the Kingston Canadian Film Festival 2022. Welcome, Matthew. Thanks for having me. Um, so your film, first of all, uh, viewer warning, uh, your film contains some uh, flashing lights, so photosensitive viewers might want to go and grab a coffee for the next couple of minutes. Um, or and, and listen though, listen, this is going to be a good good interview. So Matthew, what uh, your film is experimental. Mm -hmm. And um, what you know what does that usually entail? Well for me it's uh, it as you say it was an experiment. Um, and I went into it without many preconceived notions of what it was going to be. Uh, it was kind of a uh, a winged process. Um, that I uh, discovered I could turn into a story uh, in the editing room, so to speak. So what it entailed was going into a barn for three hours while I was under lockdown uh, last winter and fooling around with some yarn and an overhead projector, uh, really with no other purpose in mind than to kill time. Uh, six months later, returning to the footage and trying to cut it together very painstakingly, uh, I found that there was uh, a story that I could tell somewhere buried underneath uh, layers of uh, strangeness. What was the story that you uh, that you uh, wound up telling in the editing room? Well I'm a little reticent to talk about that because it was such a procedural uh, discovery in editing. Um, even until the last uh, few hours of cutting it together I wasn't exactly sure what uh, I was saying or what it could say and I'm mostly interested in what the audience can take away from it and where other people's interpretations would differ from my own. But I can tell you uh, the, sorry, I, I can tell you uh, the broad strokes of it. It is about uh, uh, two little creatures who fall in love and are, seem to be uh, torn apart. And uh, what equipment did you use? I, you mentioned an overhead projector. Boy, mm -hmm. that brings back memories. <laughs> um, what, did you, what format did you shoot it on? So I shot it digital on a Blackmagic Pocket 4K. Um, it uh, was shot all on tripod. It, I shot it uh, in one uh, two hour long clip, which as you can imagine, it, it, it is presented as a stop motion picture. Uh, cutting it was very difficult to remove uh, my hands and other uh, foreign objects from the frame. Uh, it took a lot longer than it took to shoot it. Uh, but I shot it digitally with really an overhead projector, a barn door, some chairs and some yarn. Cool. Yeah, I remember the um, you know stop motion is is a tricky thing in King Kong. If you look very carefully, there's a pair of pliers that is animated <laughs> out of the frame, right? So yeah. did you run into any of those sort of issues? There were a ton of issues like that, and there were so many that come a certain point. I discovered that there was more to the story by using footage that I had considered to be garbage. Uh, I could tell more of what was going on, and I could sort of deconstruct the narrative that I was building. So what I'd originally envisioned as probably a 60 second cute little short about two little bugs uh, turned into quite a larger undertaking using a lot of that refuse for uh, constructive purposes. Right, so um, you're unfortunately not going to be able to see your film on the big screen at the festival this year, but um, how does it feel knowing that you've got a great, quite a big platform for people to see your work? It's terrific knowing that there is a community here that really cares about local emerging talent and KCFF in that capacity provides an invaluable platform for uh, emerging filmmakers to present their work to new audiences and to connect their community. So it feels terrific to have uh, the support of the festival. And uh, uh, Kojiko and Your TV are proud to be sponsors of the festival as well. Thank you. And um, you know, encouraging filmmakers to do their thing. So uh, thanks for dropping in, Matthew. And thanks very uh, much for having me. We'll uh, hopefully see you again next year's uh, 2023 festival. Here's hoping. Mm -hmm.